Hey, wiring, yeah, last part. Um, now, everyone's favorite stuff, zip ties. I've got a whole box of them here. I'm um, gonna use assorted sizes. You can clean up your wiring without this, but this is what I'm gonna use, okay. Now, keep tuned for my video on rigid bot cable management. It'll be so much better than this. Uh, this is just preliminary kind of, I guess, random placing of stuff until I um, get the parts I need to make the proper cable management video. But seriously, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a thousand times better than what this is here. Uh, this is going to be a rough kind of plop it in place for now. So if you're going to use the cover here, um, all your switches have to actually go through the cover before you plug them into the board. Now, I'm not going to use the cover right now, so you're going to see me not putting the stuff through here. But, um, if you're going to use it, you've got to put your connectors through there. Now, make sure your machine's powered off. Don't power it on or anything right now. It's exciting, but just no. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the heated bed cable. It's nice and keyed. And just plug that in. There, like so. Okay. Now this is going to sit like that up in there. So I'm going to take one Z axis, plug it into the Z axis port at the top right here. Take another Z axis, plug it into the port at the top right there. Um, now, any sudden movements you're going to do to your motors, you can't do now. Once you've got these plugged in, sudden movements, they'll catch slow movements, they've got catch diodes in them, in the little A4988s, that will catch small movements, no big issues, uh, you'll be fine. Large, super fast movements, well, you're in trouble there. Um, yeah, just don't do it please. I guess is the best I can say. Um, so using this for reference, y-axis goes here, it's in there. Like I said, just keep an eye out for my cable management video. This is literally just kind of chucking it in there for now, um, so I can finish this assembly video. But it's going to be so much better if you just wait for the uh, thing video. So. Putting them on top, just going to slip that in there. Okay, going to hold that in position. Now, hold the bed in position here and flip it up vertical. Okay, now I'm just going to chuck some 1033 screws into the board to hold it in place. Um, if you using the cover, I mean, sorry, you can secure it with the cover, but I'm going to do adjustments to this, so securing it with the cover is a bad idea for me. Um, proceed at your own risk. Okay, just going to take the heated bed cable over here, bring it over the board, and get this into heated bed. So I'm just showing locations here. Just don't do as I do. Because <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of this. Okay, I'm just going to take this x-axis over here. I'm going to that cable and I'll put that into the x-axis just at the top here. Okay. Take your extruder cable. I've got a nice new one here which is uh, very fancy. And some extruder A's in the far corner, far bottom corner of the board here. And that is keyed that way. So I'm just going to put it in there, bring it up and around here. And I'm just going to slip that in the top there. Limit switch connector. This is kind of important. 
So this is pulled straight from the schematic. This is my end stops connector here. So this one, very top, X minimum. The middle one here, Y minimum, and the bottom one here, the very last one, is your Z min. Okay? So, just gonna get this connector. And this is a terribly made connector. I am actually gonna remake this. But just not right at this moment because I just want to get this done. So before I plug the M stops in, I'm just going to do a quick continuity test on them. Um, because that way if I have to diagnose a problem later, I will know if it's the end stops or not. That one works. That one also works. And finally, okay, so all three work. So, a good check to do. Okay, so that top one is my X. So, just come up through here. You can go to X there. Just going to put X. So now I'm going to position the end stops. I'm just going to put X at the very far end here, just to start off with. Um, I may have to reduce it, so don't take my word for it. But I'm trying to maximise the kind of build volume I'm going to get. So X at the end there. Now, I think Z is going to work best like so. That facing to the side there. So just set Z nice and high. See if it's all way up there. And then just my Y here needs to go like so. So I'm just going to plug it in first. I'm going to spin it down. Spin it up. It's time to most of the weight. Now the Y, I already double checked this by the way I set up my bed. I know I can put this as far back on this side as it can possibly go. Now, please ignore my cable management in this video. It is literally just showing you where things go. Um, so, yeah, watch out for my video on Rigibot cable management. That's gonna be much better. But, let's take a look at something. There you have it. A fully built and assembled Rigibot. It's done. Yeah. Oh, I'm super excited, super excited. This is going to be the best thing ever. For those of you that stayed to the end, you are the best. Subscribe if you want more. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe.